Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be watching. This is Talk Tonight. I'm your host, Dan Smith, and today we're going to be discussing Liam Gallagher, Harry Styles, and uh, a couple of other things. So, uh, before we do, we're very much getting close to 1.4 thousand subscribers, which is quite cool. Um, so, yeah, subscribe, it's free to do. Um, and drop us a like as well. Maybe comment on what you'd like to, us to talk about next. And yeah, so Liam Gallagher's new album, Come On You Know, or as he put, Come On You Know, came out on Friday. Um, I think, may have been Thursday, probably Friday. And I've, I did attempt to give it a listen, but as we heard in the video I made around a month ago about Liam, retiring I wasn't a fan of the singles and it's it's just not a very good album to be honest you know you, you, you're listening and, and you, you, he's trying his best you know he's writing he's trying to sing I personally feel like he's just past it um, we all know that in Oasis no was very much the heart and soul of the uh, of the band and you know he, he was the one that added the magic touch to the songs and with Liam you know it's very much more BDI this album but it's just not great you know upon first listen you know as, as I do in the release reactions I listen to it track by track and then any songs that I'm like wow that's great on first listen I had it in not one not one got added in. I already had Everything's Electric, so I do actually like that one. But other than that, there was there was nothing that I thought, oh, wow, I fancy listening to that again. There just wasn't. And, yeah, it was just mediocre. Um, I do, for me, that's got to be his last, his last album as a solo artist, because let's be honest, it's, it's just... In terms of, is it three albums in now? Probably 10, 10 songs that are re-listenable. And that's at a push. That is at a push. For personally, I have about four saved into into my playlists. Two off the first album. So, you know, he's, I, I feel like he's a live, a live man nowadays. He should just stick to it. He, he's great live. He's a great live, great performer. In terms of releases, you know, maybe... Maybe it's time to call that a day. And that moves me on nicely to Harry Styles' album, which came out just over a week ago. And I was I was saving this because I've realised that the um, the Harry Styles album was not going to be what everyone thought it was going to be. But I wanted to compare it to the Liam Gallagher one just because why the hell not? It's my channel. Do what I want. And the Harry the Harry Styles album again. Oh, that is bad. Actually, no, it's not. It's not. It, it's all right. Sorry, sun's just miraculously come out on this grey day. Um, it's all right. The Harry Styles album. It, he, he again trying his best to mature away from the One Direction. I think that's best heard in cinema, where there's a lyric and it's something like uh, "Getting yourself wet for me," and it's like, oh. It's a shame, because that's actually his best song on the album. That's the, that's the one that I've listened to the most. Um, but yeah, I, I, I found it quite quite 80s. Um, definitely retro. You know, he's, he's a bit of a, a, a weird character, isn't he, Harry Styles? Because you can't really define him to his genre. And his like personal taste in dress, in behaviour, you know, it can be a little strange at times. Obviously when he released his first album he was on about like all the drugs he was doing um in order to get into that mindset and I was just picturing like um once upon a time in America bloody Manson family style room Harry Styles just writing but we'll never know about I, I doubt it. But that that's the vibe he gave off about that like doing shrooms in like old flats and stuff. It's like ugh, bit weird. And yeah it, It'll get hyped because it's Harry Styles, but it's not, it's not the be-all. 
and end all that album. And the same with Liam Gallagher. So, you know, we've had, we've had a couple of weeks off, and in that couple of weeks, we've had a couple of really underwhelming albums. So, yeah, it's a shame, but that's music at the end of the day. Some people liked it. It's definitely not what people were saying online going, oh, it's biblical. Oh, this Liam Gallagher, he's still got it. He's still got it. He hasn't. It wasn't biblical. You, you know, saying that album's biblical is like a lot of stuff in the Bible, just fictional. And you can take that one to Twitter. Hey, <laughs> you'll you'll um you'll get, absolutely get ridiculed. But it's what it is. Anyways, I've been your host Dan Smith. If you've enjoyed the video, drop us a like, subscribe. We have an interview with the Sherlock's coming out soon. And Andrew Cushion coming back to the show, so that'll be interesting. Uh everyone, take care. I'll see you later.